Now let's go ahead and install Image Magic. And I'm warning you ahead of time, this is not the easiest install. Um, the problem is that there's two parts. There's an application with some libraries, the Image Magic application, which is image conversion and image editing. And then there's a PHP extension, a PECL PECL extension that has to be installed as well that lets PHP talk to the application. And they have to match. And not only do they have to match each other and be compiled for each other, but they also have to match the version of PHP you're running and uh, the architecture and some other stuff as well. So um, if all of these planets align, then uh, there's peace in the universe. And if anything goes wrong, then it won't work correctly and you may or may not be able to figure out why. So fortunately, if you're in Windows, um, you should be able to follow along with the versions that, um, that I'm going to use in this video. And it took me three tries this time around to actually get this all to work. Um, and I've done it many times in the past, and it still took me three tries to find the right version. So um, fair warning. Now, if you're on uh, Mac or Linux, then um, in some ways it's easier because you'll probably be compiling your own version of uh, um, both Image Magic and the PHP extension. So, um, so they'll probably match, but on the downside, you have to actually build it yourself. So um, let me go ahead and take you through the process. So here's the basic idea. We're going to download and install the Image Magic application. Um, and then we're going to download and install the right version of the Image Magic extension for PHP. And then we're going to add the extension to our php.ini file and uh, restart the web server. And it used to be that you had to reboot your computer if you were running Windows before this would actually work. Um, I'm not sure that that's true anymore. It seemed to work, but uh, um, but I had some restarts in there as well. So. Um, so if it doesn't work, you know you need to reboot your computer. So let's start by installing the I Image Magic application. And the one that I found that works is at this link, Peckle Dependencies. And here are a bunch of dependencies for various Peckle extensions, but we want the Image Magic one. And I'm going to take the 6.9.3 um, version x86. So the reason I'm taking x86 is if you go to localhost and go to PHP info, here's some important information for later on. So we're running PHP version 7.0, and uh, it's compiled thread safe. That's what this TS means, and also thread safety enabled. That means you're running a thread safe version. And then the architecture for the version in XAMPP is x86, not 64. So 32-bit PHP, 7.0, thread safe. Those are the pieces of information you need for this to work. So I'm going to go ahead and download this version, which is for x86. OK, so that took several minutes. And I'm going to go to my Downloads folder and hit Reload. So here's the Image Magic download. I'm going to go ahead and extract all to this folder. And then inside of this folder, there's a bin folder that has a bunch of executables and also libraries. And it's these libraries that are going to get wrapped by the Peckle extension. Um, the main executable for Image Magic is this convert here, but there's a problem on Windows because there's a convert um, command that's a uh, system command that's used for converting file systems. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the name of this to Magic and hit return. And I'm going to leave all the rest of this the same. Now, I can put this pretty much anywhere I want, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy this whole Image Magic folder 
and I'm going to put it in my C colon backslash program files x86 folder. And if you're on the Mac, you probably want to put this in your applications folder. The important part is that we add the path to those binaries to our system path. So I'm going to open this and go to the bin folder, and then I'm going to copy that path. And then I'm going to go to right-click on Computer, Properties, Advanced System Settings, Environment Variables. And I want to edit the system path, which is right here. Double-click on that. And then at the very beginning here, what I'm going to do is paste in the path and add a semicolon. So the first path it's going to check is that bin folder, and then it'll check all the other things that it used to check. So now if I've done that correctly, all of the image magic executables should be in my system path, which means that I can run them from the command shell. And in particular, if I type magic dash V, I get a bunch of stuff. Now, in particular, here are the types of uh, file formats that it supports out of the box. And everything is looking good so far. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and grab the PECL extension, and that's over here. So here's the Image Magic PECL page, pickle page. And then the version you want has to match the information in your PHP version. So version 7.0, x86, thread safe. So I want this one right here. So this is the latest stable version, actually I want the DLL because I'm on Windows. So if you're on the Mac or on Linux, you're going to download this, it's going to be a source file um, archive. You're going to use tar to uncompress it, probably just double click on it in Finder and you'll get the uncompressed version. Then from a terminal window, you're going to cd into the uncompressed version of this. You'll type dot slash config. Well, well, we'll take a look. I actually want the DLL version for Windows. That takes me to a list of the different DLLs I can download. And I want PHP 7, ThreadSafe, TS, x86. So that's the one I want that matches my PHP. This is also a slow download. OK, so there's the extension. Back to my Downloads folder. Actually, So here it is. I'm going to right click and extract all as well. Now the only thing you need in here should be this php under imagic.dll. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go to my extensions folder in PHP, which is in C XAMPP PHP ext. So it's the same place that you put the xdebug.dll file. And I'm going to paste that in here. Then I'm going to go back to PHP and I'm going to edit the php.ini file. I'll edit this with Notepad. And there's a long list of extensions in here, so I'm going to. I was already there, but I'll start at the top. I'm going to type extension equal and hit find next. And then I'm looking for the list. So here's the long list. So these are all the extensions that are getting loaded into PHP. And I'm going to add one at the bottom. So 
So it matches the name of the file that I just put in my extensions folder. And if you're on the Mac or Linux, this will probably be imagic.so. On Windows, it's php under imagic.dll. So I'm going to save that file. Then I want to go to my XAMPP control or OSS X manager, run as administrator, and I'm going to stop Apache and start it up again. Now, if I go to PHP info, which is a back here, and hit reload, control F, look for iMagic, and I have a section right here. So if you see this in your PHP info, that means the iMagic extension is being loaded correctly. And it has a link to the version that we just downloaded, as well as a list of supported formats, so quite a few. So it looks like everything's working. Um, we're going to go ahead and test it. So back here, if you go to the uh, PHP I'm Image Magic installation page, and you look through these comments, about halfway down, you're going to see a chunk of code that you can use to test. So I'm going to copy this code here, and then I'm going to go to my share project. I'm going to right click on share and create a new PHP file, test iMagic, and I'm going to select all and paste in that code. I'm going to go back to my browser, localhost, share, test imagic.php. And if you see the picture of the rows, that means everything is working correctly and that your extension is installed. Now, if you're on Linux or Macintosh, this page has some useful comments on it. So the first comment here, 37 upvotes, describes the process for installing Image Magic on um, OS X. So basically you're going to go here and you're going to download the sources from right here. Grab the latest tar archive tar XZ. You're going to uncompress this and then you're going to CD into the folder where you uncompressed it. Then you're going to type dot slash configure and then you're going to type make without these double quotes. That will actually, if everything is installed correctly, will build the latest version of Image Magic. Then you can execute sudo make install in order to install it. After you've done that, you should be able to install the Image Magic extension. And that's right here. So you're going to go to peckle.php.net package imagic download. You're going to grab the latest version of the source. You're going to use PHP eyes. Now there's a gotcha here. Um, on OS X, you probably have two installations of PHP already. So you probably have one in user bin PHP or somewhere like that, as well as one under XAMPP. So you want to make sure that it's using the one that's under XAMPP instead, because they're probably different versions. So open a terminal, type which PHP, and hit return. That will tell you which PHP it's currently using. If it's the one in user bin PHP, and not the one in probably XAMPP, Application, XAMPP, XAMPP files, bin, PHP, 
something like that, then you're going to want to change your path to include the one that's in XAMPP first. So when you type which PHP or which PHPIs, it should give you the path to the one in the XAMPP folder. If you have any trouble with this part, if you can't get that working, let me know and I'll help you. But once you have the PHP path, once you have the path correct, and which PHP is returning the right one, execute PHPIs, execute this dot slash configure. I think this part probably is not necessary, but you might as well include it anyhow. Execute make, execute make install. After you've done the make, inside of your image magic folder, there should be a modules folder with an imagic.so file under it. That's what you want to move into your extensions. For MAMP, which you're not using, here's the path to the extensions folder. For XAMPP, it's really similar. It's going to be like applications, XAMPP, XAMPP files, and then I think it's lib PHP extensions, no dash debug dash non dash TTS dash, and then this is going to be the date of the version um, of uh, PHP that you're using. So you should already have a folder with that kind of name, and that's your extensions folder. That's also where your xdebug.so file should go to get xdebug working. So copy your imagic.so into this file, into this folder, and then add this line to your php.ini file and restart your web server. If you're on Linux, it's going to be the same. Your PHP extensions folder is going to be in different places depending on which installation of XAMPP and PHP you're using. But once again, if you run into any trouble, let me know.